Okay, just a quick update on the MicroSlayer Fairlight Exciter. Now, I'm using the basic Slayer circuit. Uh, I'm using an LED indicator light here, and if you're going to use it uh, like a 1.5 volt battery with a L1 coil of 2 centimeters, uh, you need to change that to a 4148 diode if you want to light a fluorescent tube. Now, the important part of this circuit uh, is the coil here. Now, I'm using a plastic marker pen for the former, and that's 15 millimeters wide. Uh, the L1 coil is very fine wire, and it is 40 SWG, which is uh, 0.122 millimeters, or 36 AWG. And basically, you can just wrap that uh, anywhere over two centimeters in length, and it'll work. It may even work less than two centimeters, but the smallest coil I've made is two centimeters, and my previous one was four centimeters, and that worked really well. Uh, the one I'm going to show you today is two centimeters. Now, the L2 uh, coil uh, is a one turn of 18 SWG Maguire. Uh, one to two turns works the best. So uh, that's basically it. So, you know, the main coil, either four or two centimetres, uh, and the ferrite rod straight up the centre of the tube. It won't work without the ferrite rod. Uh, I got that from an aerial uh, from Macklin's in the UK. It's just a, uh, an AMFM aerial. Uh, that's about it, basically. A transistor, either an MPSA06 or a BC182. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, right, I'll show you the circuit working. So that's a, uh, a small 4 watt fluorescent. Uh, this is the uh, 2 centimeter coil. It's absolutely tiny. Uh, it's got the ferrite rod in the center there. It won't work without that. So that's lighting a, a 4 watt tube up. Uh, that's drawing 52 milliamps. Now, is what I'll do now is I'll switch it over. Well, I'll just show you the wireless filter on this actually. So. Uh, in fact, I'll have to take that off before you can see that. There we go. So it's got a, uh, a wireless feel to it. And it's not bad for a 1.5 volt battery. So as what I'll do now is I'll take it off the uh, 1.5 volt battery and move it onto the uh, wall adapter and uh, we'll run it at uh, increased voltage and see what, what it can light up. Right, so it's running on uh, four and a half volts now. So a much stronger field. And um, a good, I'd say about two feet away there at least. And it's lighting up the LED up. Try it with the fluorescent. So that's lighting the fluorescent wirelessly now. There's not much uh, wire to actually touch the fluorescent onto, that's the problem. But you can see that I'm holding that. And we'll try. Uh, a big one, I don't know if this one will go. Yeah, that's fired up and that, I'm holding that wirelessly. So not bad for a two centimeter long coil. So I hope that helps people uh, construct one of these, but the secret is very fine wire, 40 SWG uh, or 36 AWG, and just put as many turns on as you can. Uh, keep them as neat. It takes about half an hour to wind a coil like that, but it's worth the effort. And uh, just secure each end with a cable tie and uh, a ferrite rod down the center to make it work. If I take the ferrite rod out, everything stops. Okay, thanks for watching.